Hello, bonjour, welcome, bienvenue. My name is Chris Summers. I'm an agence immobilier working for Beauvillage, who have offices across the southwest region of France. I specialise in the Haute Vienne. I sell property for many French clients, but I also specialise in looking after UK and other nationality clients, ensuring that making the leap to France can be as easy as possible for them. My reasons for putting this short video together is I often have clients um, who may be a little apprehensive about uh, making such a big move because we know how daunting it can be. So I'd like to give you a little insight into my move here, the things we considered when moving to France, choosing the place to live, um, and hopefully this will help guide you on choices for taking a chance on France. The housing market is very much on the move in the Haute Vienne. There are many, many wanting to move here from overseas, but also many Parisians and other city residents looking for country property and looking to move out of the cities into the smaller rural areas. And I'm continually seeking new listings to satisfy the demand from the clients. Later on, I'll be showing you a couple of gems that I currently have available on the market. I find the most popular question I get asked is, where will I go? Which town do I choose? France is a vast country and choosing the right department or region to be in is critical to narrow down your search to make it easier for yourselves. For me, I think it's really important to look at the facilities the town will have. Does it have the things you're going to need to help you settle quickly? Will it give you what you need to be happy there? I moved to the town of Belac with my wife just over a year ago. The reason I chose Belac is because it's that perfect balance of being a town with all the major facilities, yet still keeps its village countryside feel with a rural element as well. This was really important to me. I wanted the peaceful, slower lifestyle, but also wanted the ability to keep busy and active. I'd say that's the kind of lifestyle we're all looking for when we make this move. Another huge consideration for me is the people that make the town. When moving overseas, we, have, we leave friends behind and that can be quite daunting and upsetting. So it's important to know that we can make new ones wherever we're moving to. The people here are super, super friendly, always stopping for a chat um, when we see them in the streets or in the market or out in any of the many bars. It hasn't taken me long to make a great group of friends, really making the most of the lifestyle Belak has to offer. Belak is a kind of, kind of town where you can get a real sense of community. It's very easy to fit in here and feel part of the place. You really can split Belac into two distinct parts. There's the original medieval settlement with amazing buildings, narrow streets and beautiful parklands, all overlooked by the stunning church and leading down to the iconic bridge that has a very popular terrace bar right on the river. Then there's the newer town with traditional high street and lots of sole traders such as butchers, boulangeries, speciality shops and a regular Saturday market. Properties are available in both these areas, so once again you have the choice of lifestyle. Facilities are a major part of uh, Belac. Being able to buy what you want without travelling too far is a real bonus. Belac has three major supermarkets, including Lidl, Carrefour, plus many other stores such as Brico Hardware, Lovely Garden Centre, there's a medical centre and plenty of pharmacies as well. Plus a myriad of independent shops, bars and restaurants in the high street. There is a cinema in English and as well as French, and James Bond is on tomorrow. I can't wait. And also annual festivals offering music and all the arts. One thing that people can easily overlook is the benefit of a mainline train station. You'll be surprised how few places actually have one. Belac sits between the large cities of Poitiers and Limoges, with both having airport links to London, Bristol and Manchester or you can take the train direct from Belac and be in the UK in under seven hours. This means you don't even need a car if you're choosing a holiday home here, as you have available access to the whole of Europe and beyond. And of course, easy travel back to your home country to visit your family and friends. Those of you looking for something a bit more rural, within 10K of Belac, there's lots of hamlets to choose from where you can get the land if that's what you want, or that peaceful country life. These villages have their own unique bars, restaurants, and events, which means there's always somewhere interesting to visit and new things to try on a weekly basis. 
One of the other concerns most of my clients have is the uh, paperwork for France and the move to France. Buying and selling a property and moving to France in general comes with lots of extra paperwork to do, but it's part of our role and part of my role to guide you through this and help you wherever I can. That starts with a notaire, we'll guide you through that process. We have great relationships with the local notaires. Most of them speak English as well, which will really help you. So we'll do our best to help you with that and guide you through that process. Then there's the daily things, the bank account, the property insurance, the utility switching. Again, it's part of our role to guide you through that and make that process easier for you. So to sum that up, it's my job to make sure that 90% of these things I can help you with to make that whole move to France so much more smooth. When it comes to speaking French, you'll find that most French people are very tolerant. If you make an effort, they'll help you out. They're just as happy to practice their English as you are to want to practice your French. There's certainly no pressure to become proficient at the language and we tend to pick it up as we go along. Just make an effort and you'll get lots of help. There are language classes available through our local neighbourhood centre. So that's my story so far. I hope that can help you make a few decisions and clear some matters up for you. I can certainly recommend the move to France. Oh, and of course, the fantastic weather. And the last question would probably be, can I afford to make the move to France? Well, Belac and the surrounding areas have probably got some of the most affordable property prices in the south of France. The town is becoming very popular recently and is regenerating with an influx of investment. As I said before, there is a huge demand at the moment and I'm continually seeking new listings to satisfy that demand. There's probably never been a better time to move here. As such, here's a sneak preview of three properties currently on offer. One is a property that's just come to the market, a lovely and well-maintained two-bed cottage, just a stone's throw from the river and parklands, with garden views of the valley and the church. The views really are quite stunning. This is priced to sell on the market at just under 80,000 euros. On the opposite side of the river, for the larger family, is this four bedroom property with country style kitchen and large garden. It's currently available for under 85,000 euros. And once again, right on the river, a lovely three bed lock up and leave holiday home with the parklands and river literally on your doorstep, also under 80,000 euros. If you're looking for alternatives, be sure to check out my YouTube channel where you'll discover over 30 full length property videos. Thanks very much for watching and I hope I've given you a bit of an insight into the move to France and how it can be made easier. Take a chance on France. See you soon. Abiento.